Welcome to Good Mythical More, and let's build our ideal food court. But first, let's check our voicemail. Hello, boys. I wanted to ask you, when was the last time you did a fraud? When was the last time you took a shot? When was the last time you did a poo? Where was the last time was a stinky too? I took a poo right Ooh, when I got to work. <laughs> I don't know where that went, but I took a poo when I got to work, oh, so on. I wouldn't shard in my britches right here. Oh. And then after that, I lit a little two. Oh, come on. Now. And I think you heard it because you responded with one, two. I did, I did. We had a toot off in the office. I will say at first, when it was, hello, Burnt. boys. I was like, is this Jessica Rabbit? Has she, <laughs> has she finally called our voicemail after all those messages that I've sent over the years? Look okay. At, look at this. We've got we've got this thing that we can we can draw on. This is this is a memeified thing that's going around where uh, based on dollar amounts, you can spend like X amount of dollars, fifteen dollars in this case, to build your perfect thing. So we have to pick one from each category, and they roughly are kind of associated with like the popularity of the different restaurants. But it's really just pick one from each layer, build our own food court. You want to start at one. Well, I mean, you could, you can get, you just have $15 to spend. So you can start, oh, you're saying to go through it? Yeah, oh, sure. It's, okay, yeah, so we have a total of $15. Yeah, you can, um, you can do anything you want. You could get, you could get all of these for $4, and then you could get it again, and you'd be at $12. But I don't wanna do that. Nope, you'd be at, it's eight. And then at 12. You yeah. get three of all of those and still have some money left over. Now, I will That's say, what I'm gonna do. Uh, oh, that Car Dippin' Dots is. Matt Carney is not here today, so we can we don't need to feel any obligation to satisfy his ego. It's because he's fulfilling pick. his obligation to, he, to keep his certification with. One day a year, he's gotta go back there. Yep. Ironic that he's there sticking those. He's sticking the hot dogs. So I'm not gonna pick it. I'm a big fan of the Dippin' Dots, and for a dollar, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that. Well, I'm looking for. I mean, you got Cinnabon up here in Dairy Queen. I'm the, the Dairy Queen. Um, and if you're starting with dessert, Orange Julius, that I, I ain't no way we're gonna. I no, mean, no. you might throw it. That's a little variety, a little snack. Mrs. Fields, that's fun. Mrs. Fields is a hmm. really solid dessert choice. Three dollars, but man, those cookies like, when they're hot. I'm going in for Miss Fee. Well, hold on, but I'm that's like, what I was thinking. I I don't love Cinnabon unless they're a sponsor, and then I'm going to love them. My, I, my I, words. I prefer Mrs. Fields over Cinnabon as well. But let me just say, Sbarro is only a dollar, and it's the only place you can get pizza. I want pizza at my food court. I'm coming in here for a second dollar in Sbarro. Jamba Juice. Gives you a nice little pick me up, and it's it's healthy. But you, is it? You uh, you can make is Jamba Juice healthy. Well, you can make a healthier choice at Jamba Juice, but for four dollars, I don't know if I want to yeah, do that's that. A, that's a lot. I definitely don't want Subway. That's going out. Um, Chipotle is nice. I I gotta go with a Chipotle. I know I'm doing that. You gotta have a. You have to have a Chinese place, and Panda Express fits the bill for me, and it's only two dollars. I can't have a Hold food on, court. Bo, you've also got generic teriyaki place. That's not, uh, you know, every food court has this I, generic I am, teriyaki place. Here's the thing, I'm consistently disappointed with generic teriyaki places, and Panda Express has a teriyaki chicken that's pretty solid, so why would I go, when I can also get Mongolian beef, orange chicken, Kung Pao chicken, all that stuff at Panda Express, and I kinda know what I'm getting, you know? $2, that's a steal. The Cary Town Center has a Burger King in it, and I'm always tempted to go there. Back in the day, you know, versus, I, in terms of a burger spot, you got the go-to McDonald's, but I think I can save some money and, I mean, go with Wendy's over McDonald's. Do you have to have a burger place? But I might go with Burger King for because of the Cary Town Center. I feel like you can get your, uh, your, going for your beef fix. They, didn't they close down Cary Town Center? I'm pretty sure they did, man. Because there was I feel a, like it's my fault. Because I stopped there, going. Well, there was an E on. I moved out of the state. There was an E on town, and I knew that would confuse the locals. Yep. Yep. Um, I mean, it took twenty five years, but <laughs> I think it was because it was one story, and they were like, "Why? Are we, where's the escalators? There's not an escalator." There's not in a. There. There's a perceived 
low lifeness to a mall with no escalators. And it, but it had a, but it was carried. So if there's it no outdoor part, Here's the no thing. outdoor part. Stevie oh. comes from a place that 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 Four Seasons in Greensboro. They got like eight eighteen stories. stories. I mean, it's. I mean, oh, it's I just, don't think you want to go there. But the Four Seasons Car- in Greensboro. Yeah. Winter, summer, fall, mm. spring. There's a floor for every season. Well, I know you did your your nose hairs. Bob and Randall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cary Town Center closed in January of this year after 40 years of business. Yep. Mm-hmm. 40 years. Because of that E in e town. E in town. Did they, yeah. But did they put an R-E on the end of center? Because that would have been another mistake. No. And they didn't do that. Uh, it's kind of like us. You got to choose your battles here. I feel like... Have you been, have you been to a Charlie's Philly Cheese? I'm sorry. The second most asked question is, why did Cary Town Center closing? <laughs> yeah. See, there you go. Oh, Char. I thought why? this was Oh Charlie's. Why it closing? Now I'm gonna go with Charlie's. Do you have an answer? Because it was uh, one story. Something about IKEA. Honestly, it's an interesting answer. They built an IKEA on top of it. it had to close. <laughs> I think. Are they turning it into an IKEA? The whole mall becomes an IKEA. Oh, sense. wait, no. The IKEA was going there in May tw- 2018. It reversed its plans and publicly announced the retailer was no longer coming to carry because of the retail apocalypse. And so they did not go there. Mm, okay. Oh, and then they defaulted on the mall's mortgage. Whoops. And IKEA had did? to sell the mall. No, the owners of Carry Town Center. Yeah, well, you can't have a one story mall sitting there and doing nothing. I, I'm tempted by Charlie's, but I'm going with Popeye's because I got to represent a chicken sandwich somewhere at the mall. I have a I philosophy about food courts, and that's I only want restaurants that feel like they only belong at a food court. I know I'm, I'm going against that rule with Panda Express, but I'm only doing that mm. because I need a Chinese place. I'm not going to select McDonald's, Popeye's, uh, Wendy's, Burger King, because they're everywhere else outside of town. I don't need one when I'm at the mall. I'm in a mall kind of mood. Which brings me back to Mrs. Fields. What was I thinking? I gotta go with you. Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking I could not have Sbarro. Because as we've determined, it's and been good. surprised by, man, it's great. So what am I And it's only here? a dollar. This is a steal, man. Four, seven, five, I'm at 12. I've only got three I'm at dollars nine. left. I can't even do anything from this row. I only, I have three dollars left too. But I have Mrs. Fields. Stevie, I'm gonna let you weigh in here. Is there something if you want to lobby for something? Do you know what yours would be? Mm-hmm. Any anything? Because right now this is what this is where I'm at. Mm-hmm. And I'm done with this because I f- nine. I feel like you would have strong opinions about this, Stevie. Fifteen. Yeah, I do. I think that. My go-to if I was eating at the mall food court was always the Chinese food place. So I think that my like number one would probably be Panda Express. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I never went for the fast food at the mall. It was always like a Sbarro yeah. Chinese food yeah, situation. Right. But and you um, know, part of it is because they don't do free samples. Like even McDonald's, the Panda Express, I've tried. They won't give you a free Panda Express. Little will piece give you of a, a McRib. They they'll won't give do you it. a sample. That you're in line at Wendy's, they'll come up and give you a sample, try to lure you over. They will? They'll try to pull you into the panda. Oh, you also, said Wendy's. Oh, well, yeah, okay, when you're in, went, got it. Got it's it. the Wendy's you know, line or the? Four Seasons had a DQ Orange Julius combo situation. Well, we should get I'm, a discount for tying know, those together. That's what I'm saying. This is what you're doing. So you're doing, you got $2 plus three, five, you're at $9. You remember that place that was a standalone coffee place? You got six at more Carrie, dollars. At, at Cary Town Center, when you were going to the food court, you're walking into the food court on the right, right side. side. It was in its own like section of the mall, and it was like called like it looked a fancy. woman's name. And I always thought it was super fancy, and I didn't want to go into it. A coffee, what, what kind of place? A coffee, coffee place? Coffee shop. Uh, and the first time I went was when it was like Jesse took me. And Angelina's. I was like, oh, this girl's fancy. She went into this coffee shop I've only ever walked past. Angelina's or something like that. Man, what was the name of that co- mall it, coffee? It was back before coffee took over. It was like, what? It was pre Starbucks. How could there be a shop that's just selling coffee? It's like, we didn't understand. And when we smelled it, we were like, gross. Anybody got any clues? And then mall Starbucks came coffee? along and said, everybody ne- deserves to be. You said it was in Carrie Town Center? Carrie Town Center. 
Oh, I cannot get there because well, of the it's connection. Like, it's like Angelica's or something. My wife would know, man. Stevie, you still got $6 Fresca? to spend. Nope. I got $3. And honestly, you want to, what about Charlie's or Cinnabon? You like a Cinnabon? I'm okay with a Cinnabon. I've never seen a Popeye's in a food court. And I well, I do feel I like Popeye's, yeah. I feel like I might be on the Popeye's yeah, cause train. You, you don't need any more no. sweetness. Yeah. So this is you. So now you've got one dollar. You're just down here. You want? You might as well add something. You want to throw definitely Dippin' Dots for sure. Oh, okay. Yep. I mean, have you had Dippin' Dots? It's the ice cream of the future. Um, All right. I feel like I'm down to a choice between. We Aunt bought some at the uh, grocery store. We've had it in our home for the past week. I'm down to. Was the it choice Jasmine Cafe? Crazy. No. No. I'm down to Auntie Anne's, because that could be a $3, just blow the whole thing right there. And we know pretzels. She earned it. But for addition, for $3, I could also do hit a hot dog on a stick, which gives you a corn dog option at the mall, which is a great walking food. Oh yeah, and teriyaki. And I'll throw the teriyaki place in as well, because it's always good to have two of those options, just so you can feel like you've made a choice that feels empowered. Because you could sample from both places. That's what I'm doing. You, you, the, the, the sample the sample is really at play here. Did you guys notice that Auntie Anne's is on there and not Wetzel's? Gloria I, Jeans! That's Gloria it, Gloria Jeans. Gloria Jeans. We never Gloria. went in Gloria Jeans. <laughs> uh, Gloria. It was super fancy. Because the Mythical crew made two different versions of these depending on which pretzel was going to win the main episode. Isn't you got that cool? The details. Yeah. You know what? They think of it all. Where's the one that for does you. Where's the other one? Can I look at it? There you go. No, don't get it. <laughs> he said, I, said I gotta get it out of the trash. Right. You gotta get out of the trash. Yeah. Uh, not, Luke, Lucas has thing, already it's eaten it. It's just a piece of paper, guys. Don't no, worry. he said, I gotta get it out of the trash can. Oh, look, see? Just so you know. The way that the mythical crew works around here, I mean, listen, that exists, guys. And I can't erase because it because it's just paper. Because it's just paper. <laughs> Why don't you sign that, and we'll we'll send that to somebody in the mythical society. We do that kind of thing. Look at that. You want to sign? <laughs> Rent and sink. <laughs> There you go, I signed. That's gonna go to a special member of, the, you know, we'll do another one. This is what we do. If you're yeah. a third degree member of the Mythical Society, I'm gonna spell, we I'm just gonna, randomly send you things. I'm gonna spell my name right this time. Okay. I'm gonna do it. And then I'll circle, uh, I'll circle, uh, I'm gonna circle, I'm gonna circle. Well, maybe we'll, I'm gonna maybe we'll resign them in, you know, Sharpie. All right. Fish that out of the trash can, send it to a mythical society. There man. you oh, go. Speaking of mythical society, we gotta get to that wedding. Crap. Uh, all right, do you want to, oh, before I go. Oh, I should, talk, <laughs> I should talk about the fact, the reason I've got on a, a shirt from 2019. It's not just because I like this shirt and kept it and I wear it, it's actually, for Cyber Monday, we're bringing back some old stuff from the mythical vault, basically opening up, reselling some shirts, some reissues of shirts and things that were popular in the past that people, we Missed. wanna bring them back by popular demand. So go over to mythical.com because they're gonna move very quickly because things are selling real fast over there. Some of our most popular items are back for one day only this Cyber Monday. Go to mythical.com to check out what's in the vault.